right, today we're going to be answering the question, which is better, the YZ450 or the SX450 or the 450 SX. All right, so you see this one right here. Top speed. You see, 449. So you see, top speed, 80 miles per hour. Here we all that stuff, all that good stuff. Alright. Alright. The KTM 450SS. 123 miles per hour. Didn't that shit just say 80? Same CC motor. Same, same, everything. This shit 120. Okay. And look. All right, so first point to the KTM. Now we're going to see which one is lighter. KTM 450 weighs 220 pounds, right? All right. thing is, which one's worth more money? You can see the 2020. Um, this says $11,700. And then which one does this say? This one is... 9,300. Alright, so technically this one was. Uh, oh, I got There's another one that we have to do too. Right? So, yeah, um, see on this. Alright, now, the YZ450, 213. So, one point to the YZ, and one point to the, um, KTM. Alright? So, first off, which is better in motocross racing? That's going to be the next option. The YZ450 is 39.2 inches for the height on it. Alright, so it says comparing all possible fit. I'm always far better than the There's more power. I'm high speed. We already seen that Yamaha does not have maximum speed. That's at 80 miles. That's at 123. CM is good for motocross. That is true, and that's what we're talking about. It admits there's better motocross. So that's one point to the KTM. So it is two or yeah, two to one. Yeah, best on trail tracks. So, well. Yeah, next thing was off-roading. So, that's two to two. And the last thing is going to be the tiebreaker. The KTM is 37.4 inches. So, what we learned by this is that technically they're at a tie. So, yeah, KTM and Yamaha are technically at a tie. But when it comes to racing and doing tricks and such like that, KTM is the better brand but when it comes to size and basically handleability. That's where Yamaha comes in just as hard. So both of the bikes are equal. So yeah.